Hi everybody, so for our art class today we're gonna do a farm animal puppet show that is based on the book Big Red Barn by Margaret Weiss Brown. Are you ready to get crafting? So for our farm animal puppet show we need to craft a red barn and then some farm animal puppets. What we need are either colored craft sticks or just regular craft sticks for the barn we need 12 of them and then we need some more depending on how many puppets you would like to make um, if you don't have the colored ones and you use the regular ones you also need some paint and a paintbrush we need a scissors we need glue, we need construction paper, red and black, and we need faces for our puppets. There is a print that I um, will put a link, I will put a link of that uh, print in my post. If you don't have a printer, you can just... Um, draw your faces freestyle and you also uh, need something to color the faces and you can use uh, some pencils colored pencils you can use crayons or you can use markers so what we do first we are um, gonna create our barn and as I said we need 12 of the craft sticks and we need a piece of paper where we put it on just so we can move it easier. So I'm gonna start with one, two, three, four. Those are four sticks. And then one, two, three, four more. And we put them together like this and then we put two of the craft sticks on top of the, of the eight that we just put down they go over here like this and then two of them will go right here so we arrange everything so that it's nicely that it nicely matches up here we can leave a little edge here as you can see and the same on top now we're gonna carefully take these down and leave them just like they are Get our glue and put glue along the, the craft stick. Glue it nicely and then we put it on top of the other craft sticks carefully so the bottom ones won't move. And we continue to do the same with the next craft stick. We put that one on the bottom. We leave, leave a little bit of an edge right here. Push it down. And we do the same with the next two craft sticks. This one goes on top again. Push it down. And then here you see I messed up a little. I'm just gonna take a little tissue and clean it off. Push 
push it down and now this last one and we put it on the bottom all right now pushing it down and the reason why we put it on the paper is so we can move it easily while it's try while it tries because it has to try at least an hour because we want to paint it afterwards um this is how it looks like and we just put it to the side for now so for our farm animal puppet show we need to craft a red barn and then some farm animal puppets what we need are either colored craft sticks or just regular craft sticks for the barn we need 12 of them and then we need some more depending on how many puppets you would like to make um, if you don't have the colored ones and you use the regular ones, you also need some paint and a paintbrush. We need a scissors, we need glue, we need construction paper, red and black. And we need faces for our puppets. There is a print that I um, will put a link I will put a link of that uh, print in my post. If you don't have a printer, you can just um, draw your faces freestyle. And you also uh, need something to color the faces and you can use uh, some pencils, colored pencils, you can use crayons or you can use markers. So what we do first, we are, are going to create our barn and as I said we need 12 of the craft sticks and we need a piece of paper where we put it on just so we can move it easier. So I'm going to start with one, two, three, four. Those are four sticks and then one, two, three, four more and we put them together like this and then we put two of the craft sticks on top of the, of the eight that we just put down. They go over here like this and then two of them will go right here so we arrange everything so that it's nicely that it nicely matches up here we can leave a little edge here as you can see and the same on top now we're gonna carefully take these down and leave them just like they are. Get our glue and put glue along the, the craft stick. Glue it nicely and then we put it on top of the other craft sticks carefully so the bottom ones won't move and we continue to do the same with the next craft stick we put that one on the bottom we leave, leave a little bit of an edge right here push it down and we do the same with the next two craft sticks the 
this one goes on top again. Push it down. And then here, you see, I messed up a little. I'm just going to take a little tissue and clean it off. it down and now there's the last one and we put it on the bottom all right now pushing it down and the reason why we put it on the paper is so we can move it easily while it's try while it tries because it has to dry at least an hour because we want to paint it afterwards. Um, this is how it looks like. And we just put it to the side for now. So while our barn is drying, we, we're going to make a roof. And for the roof, we, um, we just use one of the craft sticks and just to have the size of of the barn itself and we just mark right here and right here that's about the size we we want uh, the roof to be so what we do we have our two marks and we just use a ruler and we draw a line about two inches right where our marker is and on the other side where the mark is another two inches and then we measure across that's four inches and for the four inches we want half of that so we make a mark right at two inch and we draw a very light line that we're gonna erase later and from here we make another mark about one and a half inches and this is gonna be our middle and then we just connect that mark with the corner of this line that we drew and the same over here so now we have our roof drawn on paper what we're gonna do now is take our scissors cut it out and we don't want it just to be red so we're gonna put that on a piece of black construction paper and we just draw around what we just did here with a tiny little line so that it is a little uh, bigger than the red one so we use our ruler and we just go, go all the way around we don't have to do it on this side because we just left a little edge here so now we're just gonna cut this out too it's hard to see on black to erase it 
and this is gonna be our roof so we just glue this together so use the glue here just around the edges and we glue it on top of each other Right, so you can put that to the side and let that dry. So next up are our farm animals. So you have nine of them to choose from and you can color whichever one you like. You can do all of them, but you can just choose which one you, you want to do. I think I'm going to start with the piggy um, and usually piggies are pink so I'm just going to color my piggy all pink. But we also have um, a hen and a dog, a sheep, a mouse, a cat, a cow, a chicken, and this could be a horse. Hard to tell. So. right so next up is our hen i think i'm gonna um, color my hen like a, in a brown color Just like this. Then I need a red for the beak. I'm just gonna give that hen a little glue around the eyes and that's it so I'm just gonna go for two puppets right now so I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out so I'm gonna go around the edges here but you don't have to worry if you don't have the print out then you just use a piece of paper it can be um, a white paper or any color and you draw your animal whatever you like on it and cut it out if you use a colored paper you don't really have to color you can just cut out your drawing. All right. So 
Here's our hen. And let's go for the piggy. Piggy need a little more color here. All right. Let's cut that one. It's nice and round. The head is like a circle. and our hen and since they are puppets we need to put a stick on them and I have some colored sticks so I'm just using them for that and I think I'm gonna put my my piggy on a blue stick so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put some glue right here on the craft stick And put my piggy on top. Push down and now we just have to put it to the side so it can dry together with the barn. And then here I'm going to use a yellow stick, put some glue on it. and glue the hand to it and we're gonna wait a little longer and then we'll be back to paint the barn so now that our barn is dry um, we're gonna go for the painting and since it's called the big red barn I'm gonna paint it red I'm gonna shake the paint and I'm gonna you can either just pour it on your brush or you can pour it on a plate and take it up from there. Once it's on your brush, you just go ahead and paint your barn. What I forgot to tell you before, um, if you happen not to have any craft sticks at home, then you can just go ahead and either use a, a construction paper and cut out your barn or if you have some cardboard you could um, cut out pieces of the cardboard that have about the same size as a craft stick and I can put that in the instructions um, so you know what the size is of those craft sticks um, so you can just do the same what we are doing with with those craft sticks now you can just cut out of your cardboard and then glue them together and just paint them just the same way we're doing now make sure also when you're painting that you have something underneath so you won't paint your table <clears throat> you can also if you don't want to have a red barn you can just go ahead and make it a colorful barn you can use any color you want or you can use multiple colors and make it maybe a rainbow barn that would be nice too. I just decided to go with my red barn for now. So a little more. All right. 
we're gonna let that dry for a few minutes it's not gonna take long it's gonna be done in no time and then we continue so now our barn is dry the, the paint is dry now and um, all we have left to do is just attach the roof to it so i'm gonna get rid of this paint paper get a new one and here's our roof so all we need to do is put a little bit of glue on the roof and we're gluing it behind the barn Done is our barn. We have to let it dry a little more, put it to the side. But uh, while the paint was drying, I made some more of the puppets. I'm gonna show them to you now. The sheep and the cat, the dog and the jig, the mouse. Piggy and hen, cow and the horse. And ready is our puppet show. Moo! Woof, 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 woof. All right, and this concludes our art class for today and i'm looking forward to read the big red barn together with you guys see you then